Have you heard about China's hog hotels? They're not hotels, they're massive concentration camps that are like 26 stories high. These are scary, scary places. And guess where they are building one of the biggest ones? Just down the road from Wuhan. We all know what happened around Wuhan, but it seems human beings just don't learn. China are responsible for killing about 700 million pigs a year. Around 1.5 billion pigs worldwide are actually slaughtered e each year. Nearly half of them are killed in China. Because there's such a big demand for pork, they obviously need some mega multi-story crazy pig prisons to meet that demand. So let's read this article here. It says, will mega ho hog hotels help China's rising pork demand? A new multi-story facility in essential Hubei province is being touted as the world's tallest hog breeding site that will house tens of thousands of pigs as companies seek to modernize the husbandry sector and satisfy the country's growing appetite for pork. Not just the country, also the world. The mega farm will have two 400,000 square meter buildings, all of which will be equipped with automated feeding machines and smart air filtration and disinfecting systems. Look at that. That is scary. In recent years, local farmers have opted to raise their hogs in multi-story buildings, sometimes referred to as hog hotels by media outlets. Well, euphemism, I would call that a euphemism. Hog hotels are nothing like a hotel. I mean, the pigs don't enjoy their stay there and, you know, they're not choosing to be there. They're imprisoned. China is the world's biggest pork supplier and consumer, and the demand is projected to increase from 51 million tonnes to 60.7 million tons in the next 10 years. They're measuring the pork by tons. And large farms are stepping in to meet the rising demand. So uh, this farm expects to produce 54,000 tons of pork from a herd of 600,000 annually in each of the two bu buildings. Just these two buildings alone will produce 54,000 tons of pork each year. Now this concept of raising pigs in these big large buildings, these multi-story sites accelerated after a response to African swine fever um, this is bad to them because it affects their profits and but then they can't get the pork on the consumer's fork, the body of an individual. So African swine fe fever basically led to wiping out countless of these small traditional farms. But what are you doing with these multiple story contained prisons with pigs in close quarters with each other, in farrowing crates, piglets dying on the floor next to them? You don't think that's a breeding ground for disease? But what their argument is, is hey, it's contained. It's contained. If you look at these images, right? So look inside of these places. Look at that. You don't think that that's a breeding ground for disease? Where in nature do you see that many animals contained like that? It doesn't happen. This here is maximizing the chances of disease growing and spreading. Obviously, their biggest concern is meeting the demand. That's what they care about. Look at these massive places from the from the sky look at them wow that's crazy now this 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 guy here seems like to be the head honcho saying that they're following european standards with their buildings and have even had us certifications so it seems to be that china plans on supplying the world with these slaughtered pig bodies so there's a massive swine flu outbreak there's covid-19 which come from Wuhan. Massive lockdowns, pandemics, you know, everyone's apparently against factory farming and animal cruelty. And the solution to that is to create an even bigger factory farm with even bigger potential for disease to flourish in a massive contained space and do that at ground zero for COVID and do it on a much larger scale because we need to meet the demand for pork. The solution is not to stop mass breeding animals and slaughtering them. The solution is to mass breed more animals in a smaller space and we'll just contain it so the virus doesn't get out. Yeah, good luck with that. So this is the insanity of the human race. We never learn. Um, in fact, we just get worse and worse and worse. The only real point of power we have here is to stop our consumer demand. If we can get the US and the UK not to support uh, factory farming, hopefully that that ripples out throughout the world. Trying to get this type of advocacy to China is pretty hard, I suggest. I can't speak Mandarin. Hopefully there's some Chinese activists who are helping to stop the consumerism of pork on the ground. But this is a massive problem. Um, this is very scary. This is the future here. Do you know what it reminds me of? What's that movie? Okja. This reminds me of the film Okja. Okja is kind of based loosely on animal agriculture and it's kind of like this big mythical pig 
they're like breeding these animals for consumption and watch the movie it's very sad but it kind of reflects the state of these hog hotels and where where humanity is moving towards hopefully this motivates activists out there to speak more about this topic i hope meat eaters are concerned and just know if you're a meat eater you are part of the problem but you don't have to be you can live vegan and boycott industries that torture animals that create pandemics and that don't care about nothing but profit.